and I am currently working on the script for today's Blog Oklahoma podcast. Today I'm going to talk about Oklahoma's earthquakes. It's already four o'clock in the afternoon here and I am still working on the script. Uh, I plan to share a bunch of reference material in the show notes. Those of you who don't live here in Oklahoma, uh, yesterday over by Fairview, Oklahoma, we had a 5.1 earthquake. That was actually the third largest earthquake we've had here in the state since we've been recording earthquakes. And this particular earthquake was registered clear in Missouri. And I actually think I felt that earthquake here in Elk City, Oklahoma, some hundreds of miles away from Fairview. We don't get many earthquakes here in the Elk City area. Um, We're on a completely different geologic formation, so there's not much earthquakes here. Majority of the earthquakes happen in the north central part of our state. That's from Oklahoma City all the way to the state line of Kansas. Well, I'm still writing up the script. I'm just taking a little break. I had to stand up for a little bit. Can't sit in a chair too long. <laughs> so I'm hoping to have this done within an hour. Here's a geologic map of Oklahoma. I live over here in the Anadarko Basin. All the earthquakes are happening right here. Did you know Oklahoma had over 850 magnitude 3 or greater earthquakes last year? That was more than any other states in the Union. Common belief and the research done that pretty well proves it is most of these earthquakes were caused by the disposal or injection wells in the area. One of the byproducts of drilling for oil or gas is the large quantities of contaminated water that needs to be get rid of. That water that water contains the chemicals they used in the drilling process as well as whatever the water picks up as they're drilling. And what they do is they put it in a truck and send it to one of the many disposal wells that are here in the state. Now the disposal wells will take that water and pump it deep into the ground well below the water table. Well all that water and pressure of it being pumped into the ground has affected all the fault lines in the area and it's causing the earthquakes. There's not much we can do except stop pumping water down those holes and the uh, state government has already told the uh, companies to close many of those wells. It's just a waiting game to see if that is the solution to stopping these earthquakes. But of course it's probably going to take years before the earthquakes quit. Well if you want to know more about this I'm actually going to share a bunch of articles on the show notes for this podcast and as soon as I get it done and quit goofing off here on Snapchat I'll have it up. Well, I just finished the script, and I'm setting up the podcasting equipment. Yay! So it's time to open the big purple box in the little black box that has the microphone in it. (laughs) Got the equipment set up now. Everything seems to be in working order once again. Quick review of my podcasting equipment. This is my Behringer Zenix 802 mixing board. This is my MXL 990 microphone. I've had this for years. That's my windscreen. Prevents me from doing puh into the mic. Said invest in a good windscreen. It'll help you a lot. This one's connected to the mic strand like this. Um, And you're talking to here. This one's starting to show its age. And when I talk into it, I actually talk through the windscreen into the microphone. That keeps you from popping your P's and your B's and all your other things. This is my Behringer U-Control UCA202. It is the interface between the mixing board and my laptop. This is how I get the audio out of the mixing board and into my computer. And I'm running Windows 10 and running the free audio program called... And I use the program Audacity. It's a free piece of software to record and mix audio with. So uh, please check it out. It's worth it. And this is a reflection of my ceiling light, which I'm about to turn off because I can't read the script if it's on. (laughs) And once again, my cheap-ass $8 cost headphones. They're not the best headphones, but it's what I have right now until I buy new ones.
I'm happy to announce, as of February 14th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 898 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Just a reminder, the Oklahoma presidential preferential primary is Tuesday, March 1st. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is by 5 p.m. on by 5 p.m. on February 24th. Please mark your calendars with big bold letters and set a reminder on your phone to get out there and vote. You can find more information. At and this is my mic test, 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 test. This is the Blog Oklahoma podcast, episode 24 for February 14th, 2016. Well, there's a lot of noise in the room today. The laptop fan decided to kick on. Going to do some noise removal today. Well, I got the recording done. Now I get to do the mixing, where I'm going to move the tracks around, add some music, do some noise cancellation. I've got fans. I don't know if you can hear this on Snapchat, but that's the uh, fan running on my laptop. And it ran all during record. And why is it whenever I do these Snapchats, I discover i got to clean something? Dang, i got a lot of dust on my keyboard had a verbal typo. I had to go re-record a whole section of the podcast. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, this is taking a little longer to do the post-production than I'm used to. Added a few more bells and whistles to the podcast. Hope you like it. And I should have it up soon. episode has been published. Uh, you can listen to it on the website, on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Roku, and a bunch of other places. Well, that's going to do it for me. I'm going downstairs and eat some supper. So I hope you have a great week, and thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast.